rooted in Oakland became your guys' slogan several years ago. That's great, and I think everybody appreciated that. We all love seeing that. Money talks, though. Mm -hmm. I want to know how much money you guys have invested in the last four to five years, whether it's renderings, architectural drawings, plannings. Uh, how much has this team spent to try and keep the team in Oakland? Over $200 million. I mean, we're spending $2 million a month right now to do everything we can to get this project, this waterfront project, which is incredible, approved. So we're putting everything we can into it. That's very different than what the other two teams who left, the Raiders and the Warriors. They did not put this type of effort in. And that's why we're really hopeful we can get a positive vote on the 20th. 200 mil, Stu. That's, you, know, you know money. That's, that's serious. Yeah. I don't know that kind of money. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to bring to the table? Well, I'd like to know, because the question has been asked, Dave, yeah. why is the Coliseum not a viable site? I get that question a lot. I think it's a fair question. And I think really when you think about the most successful major league ballparks, they're in the downtown urban areas like Howard Terminal, close to the actual urban core where people are living and working. And we really need a stadium like that for the 21st century, for younger fans, for people to get excited about coming to the ballpark. And we need something that is the equal or better than Oracle Park in San Francisco. And we can do that at the Oakland waterfront, and we have a plan for it. So viability is competition. Um, I think a lot of people say the easy thing to do is put a ballpark in the parking lot out right. here. Um, but I also want to ask you about this. I mean, the team has the lease through 2024. 2024 right here. here. Yeah, exactly. Is it, a, is it a slam dunk to get that extended to 2027 if you needed to right now? We don't know. I mean, last year we actually were, were working with the JPA to try to extend it, and we did not hear back from them. So I think it's unknown if there's an appetite to extend it beyond 2024. So we really are running out of time. We only have the lease through 2024. The facility itself is really 10 years past its useful life. In some ways, we never should have played this long here. but And that's why we need to find a solution like now really for everyone. So everyone can actually understand what the solution is gonna be. Where are we gonna play? We owe it to our fans, our players, and even the community, everyone. How much do you think, and you mentioned this, the Raiders departure and how messy that was, and, and, and Mount Davis, how messy yeah. the, like Mount Davis is still being paid for. Until, oh yeah. Until yeah. 2025. Yeah. Um, how much did those two teams' departures, how much di more difficult does that make what you're trying to do right now with politicians and local government well i think it makes it more difficult but by the same token it means that our efforts which have been to lean in to oakland to be rooted in oakland i think are all the more important and we're hopeful that the city council sees that activity and that investment the 200 million dollars the two million dollars a month whatever it takes and they say this is a partner we want we've been here over 50 years we've created so many memories in this building we just want to create our next chapter at the waterfront yeah. we know it's different for our fans a little scary how are you going to get there but it can be a great thing people just need to have an open mind and understand that that change is necessary i think the scary point Stu, is if the coliseum site's not viable and howard terminal is a difficult project dave's working really hard on it but if that doesn't happen the A's are not in Oakland, potentially. Potentially. Um, and, you know, for, for a kid that grew up down the block, right. you know, that, in my opinion, is, is disastrous, yeah. quite frankly. Um, this is a team that we want to keep here in the Bay Area. Sure. I think that we all believe that the team belongs in the Bay Area. We've got a long, long history, legacy mm -hmm. of championships here. And I, I just think it would be disastrous for this team not to remain in Oakland. Plus, uh, 34 is going to be up there next summer. Is that right? Absolutely. Stu's number retired. Absolutely. Retired number. So we don't want to leave 34. Is there, is there, it, it, it's actually up there already because well, we've had two 34s, but a new not one. Not to get too complicated. <laughs> a new one.